fiction, a lot of times, especially young adult fantasy fiction, it gets kind of pushed down. It's not very important. It's just kind of mindless entertainment. You're 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 escaping into other worlds, and it has nothing to do with reality, um, which I found is just so far from the truth. Uh, you know, the power of fiction and a good fictional story. Um, there's there's so much value to that. To, to reach people that, that would never pick up a book, a non-fiction book, uh, you know, 10 easy ways to follow God, that, you know, that have no interest in that, you know, but they will engage in a story with these fictional characters that they can relate to, and you know, as the characters struggle and ask these questions, these spiritual questions, you know, they can connect with that more than being talked to, and you know, fiction can get into so many different parts of culture that a non-fiction book just could never, never do, and you know, I've had the opportunity to, to get into secular schools and to um, to you know libraries and just to reach people that that you know don't really have interest, don't want to be preached to at all, no interest in church, um, but but they love fiction, they love characters, they love adventure, and you know we, there's that bridge that's built just through the story. And um, I've had the opportunity to really just share Christ to people in a way and, and opportunities that I would have never been able to had I just stuck with nonfiction, um, which is also important. But it's, there's so many different kinds of people in the world that you know the church we tend to think there's a kind of one size fits all, but um, you know, God's given us amazing minds to reach people in so many different creative ways and um, we just allow ourselves to.